here. Uh, today, I'm going to focus a class on um, uh, leg, knee, ankle, and then uh, strengthening and stretching. So it's geared kind of for skateboarders because I, I skate, but not only just for skateboarders, for cyclists, runners, anybody that kind of uses their legs. Could be dancers, uh, you know, uh, ballet dancers, the feet, and then all these kind of stretching. You probably got your own routines, but this should be fun. And then um, just a quick, like, little upper body, um, upper body strengthening, right? So strengthening the upper body and stretching out the legs and getting the legs nice and warmed up and the joints nice and mobile. All right, so let's start off. at the top of the mat. Okay, big toes touching, heels a step apart. And then right away, stretch your arms up, inhale. Exhaling, fold over the legs, or then, you know, look up halfway. And then you're gonna step back into a plank pose. And just to kind of warm things up, you'll hold this, wrap the triceps back, protraction in between the shoulder blade, scapula, inner thigh spinning up. And see if you can draw the pubic bone more towards the navel. So, Pitching the shoulders slightly forward and push and breathe. Push the floor away. Breathe for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower all the way down. Good. And I'll get these blocks out of the way and make sure you have some blocks handy just in case. You might use them, you might not. Inhale, baby cobra. Pull the chest through the arms, squeeze the back muscles, pull the shoulders down. Press the pubic bone, top of the feet down. Exhale, chin down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now tuck the toes under, strong moment. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, dog pose. Heels striving down, inner thighs internally rotating. Lift your seat, long spine. All right. And then push the floor, feel a lift in the forearms. Triceps wrapping back, broaden the collarbones. From here, stretch your right leg up. Put your right foot through between your hands. Come up to crescent pose. Good, bend your left knee, shift your left heel forward, lift up through the pubic bone, and soften the shoulders. Good, take a breath here. From here, bring the arms by the side. Use that bend in the left knee to shift the weight onto the right leg and come into warrior three. Good. You can keep your hands like this, roll the left hip down, dorsi flex the foot. You can bring the hands to the heart, or the hardest variation, arms forward. Breathing for three, two, one. Now from here, let's come into warrior four. Bring your leg out to the side, flex the foot. Keep the hip level. If it's too much, hands at the heart. You can put your hands on the blocks. Yes, that you can, flex the foot. Come back to warrior three, standing split. Put your hand down. Give your leg relief. Reach to the inseam. You can put a micro bend if the hamstring's killing you. And then land in the low lunge. Put your left knee on the floor. Good. Nice and easy. From here, stretch your arms up. Get pubic bone lifts. Take your right hand, grab your left wrist. Then towards the right. You can drop the right hand or use a block or just stay holding onto the wrist. Left armpit back. Stretch to the intercostals. Dip your hips forward, but at the same time, lift your pubic bone. And slowly come back down towards the center. And then for this one, just go post your arms. Pull the shoulders down, lift the chest. And go down. Right arm goes up, twist. You might grab a strap. You can grab the foot. If you're flexible on the forearm, 
So working on stretching the quad, kick a little bit, lean back, whatever kind of works. Okay, release the foot, put your hand down. We'll come into the halves and splits. Chin to the shin. You can always prop yourself up on the blocks. If you lift your butt, lift your chest, and flex your toes full from there. It's going to really intensify the stretch on the back of the leg. Okay, from here, bend the front knee, and then bring your left knee behind your right calf, a little pistol squat, Shiva squat. Now take your left knee and see if you can dip it right outside the right ankle. Squeeze the right heel to the buttocks. I was like, you should feel this in the knee. And I'm like, whoa, I really do. And then you can pulse a little bit. For three, two, and one. Feet together, top of the mat. Look up halfway, long spine. Hands anywhere except the knees and step back, plank pose. Pitch the shoulders forward and then lower halfway down and stay here. Cool for five, four, three, two, one. Upward dog and downward dog. Left leg up, left foot between the hands. You'll separate the feet for the bounce. You come up high lunge. Good. You bend the right knee. You'll lift up your hip point. You'll shift the right heel forward. You'll absorb the lower ribs in. You'll soften the shoulders. You'll take a breath. You'll sweep the arms by the side. You'll use that bend in the right knee to propel you onto your left leg. Flex the foot. Drop the right hip. Drop the chest. Lift the arm. Breathing. Three. Two. One, warrior four, leg out to the side. All right, flex the foot. You should feel it in the glute. Hold steady. You can always use your blocks just to kind of hold yourself here. Keep lifting the leg. You can even bend the knee if it's too much or reach the arms forward. Okay, come into the standing splits. Swing the leg up. Reach to the inseam. So that's a doozy, that one. It's a really tough one. Okay, land your right toes long behind you. Put your right knee on the floor. And this will work the side's hip flexor. Stretch the arms out. Okay, lift up on the hip points so you're not collapsing the left hip crease. Left hand, right wrist, bend, gate pose. It's a great pose. You stretch the whole right side of the body. All encompassing, you can drop the left hand can grab a block, you can peek past the bicep, reaching, stretching. And just for the upper spine, a little back bend, goal posting is nice. Elbows forward, shoulders down, stretch the biceps, lift the chest, abdomen tone. The hands will come down to frame the foot. And then you're gonna get a little twist. Left arm up. You can reach around for the back foot. Kick a little bit. Pull it in for the quad, kick for the shoulder. Okay, release that. And then you'll shift the weight onto your right knee. The half splits. Again, you can use the blocks. And then from here, you're gonna bend the left knee, you'll tuck the right toes under, and you'll bring the right knee behind the left calf. Then you're gonna slide the knee down, you can bring the hands to the heart for the balance and a couple of pulses. And then hands down, feet together, look up halfway, exhale fold. 
step back plank pose. And then this time roll onto the right side of the body, side arm balance, just to get a little explosivity in the arm, right? Push right tricep back, left hip over down, push your right hip up, and then you look up for three, two, one. Other side on the left. Good. Lift the hip, right hip a little bit down, pubic bone navel, core and gaze, left tricep back, lift over the shoulder. You can test the balance and look up. Plank pose, lower halfway down, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Upward dog, inner ankles in, shoulder blade in, shoulder down, look up. Now we're facing dog. Okay, from here, put your knees on the floor. All right, sit on your feet. If it agitates your knee, you can open up your feet and place a block there, and then lean back, stretch your ankles. No stretch your knees too. Uh, and then from here, tuck the toes, sit at heels. Stress the back of your feet. And if your wrists are tender, you can open up your knees a little bit and slide your hands underneath so the thumbs stick out. You can lean a little bit. It's a nice wrist stretch. And you're stretching your feet. Okay, you'll let all that go. And then you're gonna lean to one side and get your legs out in front. Okay, now we're gonna work the hips. Now, if you have super tight hips, you sit on a block and you just work the butterfly pose like this. Hmm? All right, flesh your part away on the front sitting point. You can manipulate the calf flesh, the thigh flesh, and this is it till your knees get close to the floor. All right? if it's too agitating, you bring your heels away. So it can look like this, can look like this, can look like this, okay? And then you can always put blocks underneath your knees if it's too much. If you don't need the block, you're good to go. You'll be here. Sinking. And then care for the knees. And then it's like a, a little bit of a back bend. You lead with the sternum. Down you go. Breathing for five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, from here, slide the left shin in. And again, if this one's just way out of the ballpark, you can always sit on the block. And then cross here. That's not gonna work. Actually, don't use the block. Just repeat the previous pose and stay longer. Double pigeon, all right? So you wanna stack your ankle and your knee and have the bottom ankle underneath the knee. And then you can lift your butt up, the fleshy part away, so you feel the front sitting points. You can stay here, just hang out. And then you imagine the inner thighs spinning upward, the outer C points down and back. If you feel flexible, you can fold. So working the hips. So if your hips, my cyclist friend, my skateboarder friend, active people, if the hips are open, the ankles, knees will follow with more mobility. It stems from the hips. So less prone to less injuries, right? Open hips. And just breathe over here. We'll be here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Slowly unfurl, legs out long, give your knees a massage and twirl the ankles a little bit. And then you'll switch the sides. 
the right, the left. You lift your butt, adjust. You keep the feet flexed. This is good for the knees. Take a breath. You can stay here upright, totally fine. Or stay in the butterfly pose, working the heels closer to the groin, to the block, and fold. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly unfurl, legs out long, give the knees a little massage. Fleshy part away, slide the right foot in. And again, if this, the knee agitates the knee in any what way, you sit on a block, you can even put a block underneath your knee, you lift your chest and fold. Right? You don't have to come all the way down if the hammy is too tight, keep the bend, totally fine. And you can grab a strap, whatever, whatever works. Sitting on a block is fine, block underneath the knee is fine. Three, two, one. Slowly come up, you switch out the legs, give the knees a little massage. Your side. Okay. Like to manipulate the flesh away. Take an inhale. Exhale down. So warmed up the leg by right away balancing on the leg. Now you can stretch it out, strengthening the knee joint, stretching the ankles out a little bit, stretching the feet. Three, two. One, slowly give the knees a little massage, curl the ankles. Okay, now the last little thing that we're gonna do is after all that flexion um, and bending of the knees, we'll stretch the backs of the legs. Open up the legs. Again, if you have some tension in the low back, you'll bend the knees. You'll even prop yourself on the block, the fleshy part away, and then down you go. And it can be just here, totally fine. You pull the chest through, do like a little back bend so you're not rounding, and stretch the backs of your legs. Eventually, little by little, working yourself down, working the flexibility, and just kind of relaxing. A slight dorsal flexion of the toes, nothing too aggressive. Reaching through the heels, nothing too aggressive, just enough so you can feel it, enough activation, breathing. You can close the eyes, kind of chill out. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come up. Yeah, get your legs out in front of you. And we'll go forward. Fleshy part away. Lift your chest. You can always bend your knees or grab a strap. And you're going to lead with the chest, stirring the leads. And try to relax. All right. Slowly come up. Okay. And then... We'll do a little twist. You'll bend your right knee back. You'll come here. You'll put your left foot in, and then you'll just simply turn and twist. And then you'll switch out, other side, turn and twist. Woo! And let's do one more round. Switch out, turn and twist. So you don't even have to like move your legs too much. You can just, and this will kind of lubricate your joints. Right, this active motion. Go. 
that's all we got for you today. So it's a quick little thing just to kind of get the legs loose and warmed up and those long planks and holding that uh, lower plank, the sidearm balance, just enough explosivity to uh, get the arms nice and strong and to warm up your core. Hope you enjoyed the, the class and uh, have fun out there uh, with your activities, especially use your legs. All right, take care.